Glad to see that he's still uh, doing good out there in the world. Uh, you know, he is a marathon runner, Joseph, and I yeah. imagine that runners in our community are digging this weather right now. I think they are, especially a little bit later in the week. Although I have heard that they like to run in uh, cooler weather, and I think that's maybe that, that nice window where it's just cool enough and also uh, nice enough to be outside. We do have some clouds moving on in, kind of a film of clouds over the top of Portland as we look at the coin tower this afternoon. Temperatures in the upper 40s right now. We may get that little extra push to 50 degrees as we go into the second part of the day, but we'll be hovering right around the upper 40s. That wind is running out of the east northeast about five miles per hour right now. I'm also hoping for maybe a sun break as we head into the afternoon. 40s right now, we spent a majority of our winter so far in the 40s, 27 days. That's pretty good. You know, we've had a couple days in the afternoon. These are afternoon high temperatures where we did crack into the 50s and we had one day in January where we actually hit 60s, six days where we didn't break out of the 30s. That's kind of how our winter has shaped up so far as uh, we've gone back through about December 21st when winter began. All right, so our average high now is 50 degrees. I think we'll have a few more 60s on that list that I just showed you by the time we wrap up the work weekend as we enter the weekend. I think we'll have maybe about 61 on Friday. Notice 62 degrees is the record high for that day. Uh, Saturday, it's a little bit warmer than that. And I'll show you a list here in just one second. All right, what's going on? We have this westerly flow right now, which is leaving the clouds and a little bit of rain in the forecast for our Monday. But we have a ridge start to develop as we head into Wednesday and Thursday. That's going to leave us pretty warm and dry. It may also lead to some morning fog again, especially in some areas for central and southern Willamette Valley. That ridge breaks down a little bit as we get close to about Sunday, February 13th and into the, you know, Valentine's Day, I think on Monday. So that may lead to a little bit of rain, but we have potential for our second ridge to develop over the Pacific, which may lead to another dry stretch above average temperatures and likely not a lot of mountain snow or rain. We'll keep an eye on that second one because that one's not promised, but this first one, of course, is probably going to be here for the week. All right, spring like week, as I just mentioned, the forecast is in gray. The record high is in orange. We really don't get close to the record here over the next couple of days, but I do believe on Friday when we hit probably the lower 60s that we're going to be very close to maybe even tying that record, potentially even breaking it. And Saturday we're expected to hit about 60 degrees. And if we get that little bump again, we may actually get close to that record that was back in 2015. All right, high pressure just to the southwest. Everything's kind of moving in from the northwest there off the Pacific. We'll keep that going as we go into the afternoon. Again, some clouds, maybe an isolated shower. Clouds start to fall apart, though, as we get into probably, you know, 2, 3, 4, 5 p.m. time frame for us around Portland. Air stagnation advisory is in place. A couple pollutants out there, poor air quality. That is until 10 p.m. We'll see if they expand that right now. Current air quality is in the green around Portland. A couple locations in yellow with a moderate uh, level there. Rain chances uh, are low and slim because of that ridge of high pressure I was telling you about. A little bit of rain would help clear things up as far as that air stagnation advisory goes, but just don't see it in the forecast. Again, we'll keep our eye on that Sunday and Monday for maybe a chance for some showers heading into Valentine's Day. All right, the remainder of today, we see a couple scattered showers around the Cascade foothills. We do open up a bit, as I mentioned, so I think right around sunset, we may see a little bit of sunshine as that sun is going down. Should be pretty nice. A couple scattered showers out towards the Oregon coast. Fairly dry to the east. On Tuesday and into Wednesday, we do have some fog possibly in the, in the valley, but the system's trying to sink on in from the north here, as you could tell. Should bring in a couple showers up into Washington, maybe out towards Pendleton on Wednesday, but then we really open up. And by Thursday and Friday, I think we're just seeing sunshine as that ridge really takes over. Temperatures starting to warm on up. All right, seven day forecast. I have 50 today, 51 tomorrow. 55 degrees on Wednesday, nothing but sunshine Thursday and Friday. Again, near record high temperature there on Friday, Jenny. You're right. I think this is going to be pretty nice for those who like to be outside. I running, know. Whatever. Yeah, I, I'm surprised it's a near record and not a, a record An record. Actual record. Real yes. close. We'll see. Okay. All right. Stick around. We'll be right back with more news.